Good morning and welcome to my channel, Traveling with Sam. And today I am in Riga, Latvia, uh, the first time here. So going to check out uh, Latvia as well as a little bit of Lithuania. So thank you for subscribing, for liking, and for your comments. And if you are ready to go explore and see Latvia and Lithuania, then let's go. So here we are in Old Town, still with some uh, crispy, Christmassy lights, even though it is now February, but still seems the holiday spirit. So just exploring here. When Bishop Albert uh, discovered territory of Riga, and Bishop Albert was actually German. So he was the one who started the city. And if this is the central part uh, of Riga, then that side of the river uh, is called Par Daugava, meaning over the river Daugava. Their houses were built only 15, 1600, so a lot later than this side. Um, on the right side, you can see interesting shaped building. Uh, that is our national library. Some tourists have said that it looks like Mount Everest. I cannot judge, I haven't been there. <laughs> Uh, but I'll leave it up to you to decide. But National Library, uh, this building was opened in 2014 when Riga was Europe capital of culture. And at that time it was the most, uh, well, yeah, the previous National Library was on this side of river and on the opening day, people were actually standing on the life chain uh, to pass some books uh, on each other uh, to get into the new building. And it's a very interesting shaped building. If you would go inside of it, in, in the middle it's empty and you would see from the, almost like from the second floor to the top, there's this huge bookshelf with these books that people are transporting. It's quite cool. We call it the Palace of Life because it holds all the books, all the wisdom. Very good thing. And uh, yeah, there are many people that would refuse to give out information. Where do they get these buckets of mushrooms? You know, they just share so many photos so everyone gets jealous, but then they ask, where did you get it? No, 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 that's <laughs> I cannot tell this to you. So it's it's funny, yeah. But uh, about bears, technically they say that they're not really interested to attack you or come up to you. You know, if you go in a forest and make noises, then they'll hear you and they, you know, they're gonna leave. They're not being to meet you. Um, imagine how many materials and transportation and all logistics they needed. So at the start, this architect said, uh, you know, you're a bit coco loco, uh, but um, here we are, we have it, but some things, some details are missing in both palaces, like uh, here are lions on top of windows, but you're going to see from the other side, some windows are missing these lions. Then there are a lot of fake windows, fake windows, you're going to see some of these windows are painted, so basically they didn't have time, material, um, energy, whatever they didn't have, <laughs> they couldn't uh, add the window, but they just painted it, because then you get the balance and it looks okay. Usually it's not a big off-road here, it's just they're changing the road. The truth is they're changing for the last 10 months already, but that's a different story. Um, but yeah, in the basement of the palace there is a, like a, there are sarcophagus with the dead dukes. And that was also experienced one time, uh, we managed to get in there with a big group. And there's this guy who works there, and, um, you know, all sarcophagus next to each other. And in between there's, you can see that something is covered with blanket, but there's no, like, no coffin, just something on the ground and covered and look like a body. And we asked, like, what is that? And he's like, j he just pulls away the blanket and there are, there's a skeleton, yeah. <laughs> like, all skull and everything. And we're like, okay, this is a bit weird. And he's like, no, this was Elizabeth, or like some kind of... Uh, Empress or I, I don't know like some royalty yeah. at that time and uh, he said when she was alive she was very beautiful and she wanted people to look at her so now look at her <laughs> we thought okay I'm a crazy guy uh, so here we are Yelgava Palace it's now a 
University. Again, more Christmas decorations. So you can come and study here. About a 40 minute drive from Riga, Latvia. So here we are at the border crossing to Lithuania. Interesting, and you can leave uh, a cross here. You can bring your own or um, buy one if you wish. Hardly anyone out here today. Uphill climb. So here have uh, some bigger crosses. of different uh, pathways. Some cute little wooden crosses. The story behind uh, this place is in the 1800s, a man who had a sick daughter, his only child, um, had a dream, and in his dream he uh, saw it. tell him that if he wanted his daughter to be healed, to come to this location and to place a cross and pray. And when he woke up the next day, he didn't know uh, if it was real or if he had just dreamt it, but he wanted to do anything for his daughter. And so he came to this place, uh, placed a cross, and on his way home, his daughter ran to him, uh, 
healthy once more. And once uh, this story uh, was heard, more and more people came to see if it could help them and help their loved ones as well. I can definitely feel it's hard to describe the energy here or the feeling. All this hope, all these wishes, all these prayers, all the positivity, but at the same time, uh, the sadness and the lack of hope our faith that brought people here to then regain hope and faith. So difficult to put into words, but uh, it definitely has special, special energy here. Especially now where it's quiet. And even though the sun's shining, it is cold. And then not many people at all. So you can really take it all in. Time to head uh, to the monastery now. this very tiny bridge I guess um, and head over here to the other side or to the monastery all right made it to the monastery sure if he can go inside but at least uh, take a look from the outside so now I'm inside the monastery So oh, very cute, nice little chapel. Now time to make my way back uh, to the meeting spot and continue on and uh, go to our next destination. All right. So, definitely a nice place in the sense of uh, to look at and uh, it's a powerful wave of uh, emotions, good and bad, uh, here the hill of crosses. about an hour and uh, hour and 45 minutes uh, roughly uh, to get from here uh, to get here from uh, Old Town Riga Latvia to the Hill of Crosses of Lithuania so uh, yes, uh, do 
2006, they came up with a number, a rough number, of two, about 200,000, but that was 2006, yeah, right? so it's 14, yeah. 14, 18 years ago, yeah, is it really already that much? Um, yeah, but the thing is, uh, of course, every day there are more and more cross uh, crosses placed there, but there have been a few fires as well. The first fire was in 2006. I did wonder about that. Yeah, the first fire was because someone left the burning candle. Uh, yes, and that's why there's the sign saying exactly. that burning candles in the middle, especially as well. Exactly. 2006, someone left the candle. Okay, candle you can still somehow justify, okay, religion and pray. Yeah. Um, and about 50 square meters burnt out, quite big space. Fire began to arrive very quickly, I would say six minutes. So in the middle of nowhere, that's quite good. Yeah. Um, but yes, okay, and then a long time passed by, and I think it was 2017 or 18. Um, Eagle, or you see? Yeah, yeah, sorry. They live on that. Um, yeah, so uh, 2017, 18, then there was a fire when someone dropped a burning cigarette, and that's a bit silly, you know, yeah. because especially in the summer when. That's just selfish. Yep. And uh, that time, um, that's the time when they placed the cameras there. Back in Latvia, another palace here. This is the summer palace. kitchen back in the day. Looks like all of these are made out of glass. Exquisite palaces, I think, as most uh, palaces are exquisite. So now you gotta see some rooms.
好。The Grand Gallery。Next is the White House. Beauty paintings. outside not the time for roses This area now. I'm like going for tonight. Lunch. Right? Go up. But it was in very bad shape. It didn't have roof. So on rainy and snowy and uh, windy days, we actually couldn't get up there. Uh, this way, we can go anytime we want. And uh, yeah, the structure was in very bad shape. There were nets around the building uh, in some places because bricks were falling. So it wasn't really safe. So this is Boskis uh, Castle. Do some reconstruction. Climbing up the tower now. And these new <laughs> stairs.
years ago it was renovated and now they say this is the original like the closest to original how it looked like in 1600s mm. um, again I think very fresh <laughs> but yeah and in uh, winter they used to have a lot of uh, years uh, ice skate rink here since COVID they have stopped doing many things like even in the old town in Vigo we used to, used to have in the old town ice skate rink but then with COVID they stopped and now they're like yeah they could survive without it so why would we put it back up I heard there was big volleyball in that Back in Riga, old town. Stop. A nice uh, restaurant, good atmosphere. I'm gonna order my food in just a moment. It looks so small from the outside, but once you get in here, it's like a massive place that just keeps stretching and stretching. You have multiple bars, uh, even a library over there. Like I said, it just keeps going and going. Here's my platter. What's Samuel, was it? The main course. <laughs> to my hotel and wrap up this edition of traveling with Sam. We have a lot of uh, nice 
bars and uh, entertainment and you heard uh, it was a group from uh, South America, Latin America uh, that was playing in the Latvia uh, bar during dinner. Dinner was uh, delicious, by the way. Uh, people are out and about on this Friday walking the cobblestone as I have arrived back at my hotel. Safe and sound. I hope you enjoyed uh, this amazing day. I surely did showing you some amazing places in both uh, Latvia and Lithuania, mainly Latvia, but uh, very uh, cool experiences. So I highly recommend it. I'll uh, leave some more information in the description. And uh, thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking, thank you for your comments, and thank you for traveling with Sam. And until next time, goodbye.